Greetings, rabble rousers. The moment you have been waiting for. <laughs> for a while. The infamous AR-15 uh, build for, we're still wrestling with this a little bit, but between, uh, on the higher end, I feel uh, $400 on to the, um, more comfortably around five um but that's what of course yeah. incorporating sites onto it too and yeah. you need a magazine um to feed it and uh, you know so those little details like yeah. sometimes you know we try to incorporate everything that way you get exactly. a good idea of what you can um put one of these together for yeah. if you just chop around we were talking earlier too <laughs> we're not totally sure if it's possible but i'm sure if you guys uh, put something together you may be able to get under 400 dollars, but that'd be really tough yeah that'd be really tough um, you'd have to really nickel and dime parts. Yeah, you'd um, have to get some pretty cheap parts. Gun you shows, might, you'd maybe. Cut, uh, cut corners on some parts that you probably yeah. shouldn't. Trade people maybe that upgraded their rifles, um, you know, a friend or something, they could trade you some parts. Yeah. You know, if you're just building a basic rifle that can function, um, and, you know, you're not really worried about initially adding on a fancy trigger or, mm -hmm. you know, all that kind of stuff, um, you know, you could do that. You could swap some parts with friends. Because um, yeah. they have, like, almost essentially a whole nother gun after they... Yep. do a uh, upper or lower uh, transplant whatever yep. it is yep. but we have some some examples out here for you we got yeah the, the basics um, um, the majority of stuff and we have some some uh, cheaper options here for you so yeah let's let's get going all right so absolutely this one this is the lower um, AR-15 lower um, ch uh, chambered for or or uh, built for 556 mm -hmm. um, or 223. This one's made by EDC Tactical. I found this again on Primary Arms. And uh, this one is a little bit more fancy than the Andersons that we've, that we've shown you before. Mm -hmm. um, this one is Cerakoted um, Flat Dark Earth um, and it has the closed um, trigger guard, which is kind of neat. Whereas as on the, um, the, 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 regular, the regular ones, um, the normal ones, this, this trigger guard um, is, is put on by you. Right, um, you know, it's yeah. removable. You could get different sizes and all that, but this one is incorporated in there, which I just think that's kind of nice. Gives it a cleaner look, mm -hmm. um, and the serra coating on this is really nice, um, and it's got even the the three position um, selector. If you think it like you know for a coolness factor, it has that on there, and it even has a flared magazine well. So we're not really getting into for seventy dollars off of primary arms. This is like a you can't touch these for less than one fifty. Um, from most other places that yeah. has this stuff done to it. Um, now, this um, Anderson, um, they run deals on Anderson a lot um, for 30 bucks. 30 As a matter of fact, yeah, not too long ago they did, you could buy three lowers, so you could build up to three guns, and uh, um, you know they, they didn't put a limit on it. Most of the time they put a limit on it when it's mm -hmm. 30 bucks, but for $90 even, you're getting three lowers. Yeah, yep. Um, Just one thing to mention about these two, which is actually good to know is, I know sometimes, you know, if you buy them online, you have to pay a transfer fee at whatever FFL you have it shipped to. So um, some some places, you know, you can get memberships at, and if you're frequent, you know, you're frequenting a shooting range or something like that, you can get a membership there and not have to pay any sort of transfer fee. So thirty dollars done. Yeah. You know, you won't pay anything extra than that, other than of course a background check. And yeah, that's that a good nonsense, point to mention. Absolutely, yeah. You won't you won't pay because I know some some places have some higher. Oh yeah, I've seen as much as uh, fifty dollars to transfer. Yeah. That's, that's a lot. Yeah. So we gotta, of course, incorporate that. But we're just yeah. talking bare bones right now. No extra stuff, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that would be, you know, the uh, lower. Like I said, Andersons you can get for half of the price of this one. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing we found cool on Primary Arms. Now, granted, that's not the only place we, you know, we see or buy stuff. We do go to gun shows and we do visit. But Primary Arms is just they're they're generally really they're really cool. But we got this Anderson um, lower parts kit. Now this has not only all the the little bits and pieces and stuff like that you need to to put this in there. There's also the trigger in here and there's even a hand grip, which is basically your your um standard fare a2 mm -hmm. um i believe it's got the finger groove there and stuff you know they're neat they're cool for now i have them on some of mine i mean i do like them but they make all the um mag poles and all that kind of stuff nice. now there's ergo you know yeah. there's so much to choose from but basically this is all it's all here so you got now your the, the guts you need the uh, magazine release your um safety selector your trigger your handle um it's all here yep so so that's that and I think now this I believe was $30 which yeah. was a sweet deal I mean uh, to get a lower parts kit I've seen uh, Midway has stoner um, parts kits that I've gotten to they sometimes will go for 30 bucks mm -hmm. also but this one came in a nice box actually no the stoners I'm sorry they go they don't have the trigger or the handle so this is a better mm -hmm. deal yeah 
But you know, they're they, all in all, they're both sweet deals. Yeah, so that's bucks, you can't go yeah, yeah. And this is all American made too, guys, which is nice. You got to watch sometimes AR-15 stuff, and we have some here. Um, if you really cheap out, sometimes you're getting China made stuff. Yeah. But if you check and you and you you source stuff out, you can basically put it all, yeah. Amer all American. Which made. brings me to our next item here, which is uh, we're talking about the bulk carrier group. Now this is something you kind of really don't want to cheap out on. You know, this is something that you're you should put what money you do have for the rifle into this as much as you can. Not to say that you should go out and buy a three hundred dollar one, but you know this one here. This is a uh, what is this? YHM. Yep. And yeah. uh, this one, what did we get this for? For about like $80, like around that price. Yeah. So, so you, know, you can get a pretty decent, you know, I guess this is a full auto bolt for, you know, under $100. But, you know, when you start getting into like the, the lower end range of that, you're, again, like you're kind of getting <clears throat> like outsourced parts and stuff like that, and it might not be of the best quality. So. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest thing with these guys, if I may interrupt in yeah. for just a moment, is get the full auto bolt, which is yeah. the, the full auto bolt or the M16 bolt. It's called either one or... It, it, the regular uh, AR, AR, um, AR-15 bolt. No, you can, it's yeah. fine, Ann. Um, but um, because otherwise, th these bolts are properly weighted. It's not like, oh, I'm going to shoot full auto. It's not yeah. that. It's just that these are properly weighted bolts. It's got all the material on it yeah. um, that it that it's, was built originally to have. So that's how I feel about it. And yeah. then just make sure this gas cave, which I think we talked about in other videos, um, now see if you're getting it at a gun show or something like that it's one thing but if you're buying it online it's hard to tell but I'll tell you uh, from the YMH they're staked correctly but sometimes they don't stake these fasteners in here onto this gas key correctly mm -hmm. and once this thing loosens up which it does it can um, it, it, it short strokes the gun so you get jams and it's it's yep. it, it, nine times out of ten it's this is the culprit so if they're staked in there properly it won't probably hardly ever give you trouble yeah. um and that's a full bolt carrier uh, meaning that it has the um this the bolt carrier that, uh, yeah so it's the full thing and that's like i said between 75 and 80 um, mm -hmm. it, yeah yep um, we'll see then we've and, uh, got the oh, upper you can show them how that goes yeah too, like, so the, this is of course the upper portion of the gun now this is a completed one but you could probably get an upper parts kit for i'd say under you know the upper doesn't have <clears throat> too much going on it's just got this door here and it's got you know your uh the forward assist, the forward which, assist. You, which looks cool but you hardly yes. ever have to use it and if the um, gun's really dirty maybe yeah so you have your forward assist on here you have this you could get this this part for like you know like under twenty dollars. I've seen these kits. Pieces. The kits. The like kits. 10 to, bucks, probably, right? ten to fifteen dollars. Yeah. But yeah. anyways, you the want upper. To build a one. Yeah, the upper itself. You could find these easily for like forty dollars sometimes on uh, primary arms. Absolutely. And you could this pick one these was, up for that yeah, price. That I think this actually. Is this an Anderson or? It, it, it may maybe. may well be, but I'm not sure. But it is all, of course, mil spec. These guys yeah. vary in price a lot too. Just like um, the the lowers. I mean, these can. You know, generally a decent one, decent quality at a good price, you're paying between 40 and 50 bucks, mm -hmm. sometimes less, but you know, but there are ones um, that you can get that these are in several hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so it's like anything else, you can throw money at anything. You yeah. Know. And then this, of course, just show you. Oh, yeah. Goes on. Put this on the right way. Yeah, you had it right. No, you had it right, pal. Maybe because the dust shield is down. Maybe it's just interfering. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is gonna go on, yeah. like so, and then of course, yeah. all the other parts are gonna go. If they're at a gun show, if you're at a gun show, guys, and you're you have the opportunity um, to buy both of these, um, make sure that the, both the upper, the, the part with the injection port, and the lower um, fit together properly. That you can, that you know, they're nice. As a matter of fact, I can't see any light through this. Um, now, granted, there's pins that have to go through here, but I would highly doubt if it raises it any more yeah. than that. I'm sorry, guys, I was just check, checking for the light. But these, this is a pretty nice fit, even though it's two different colors. Yeah. Um, it's This is not really a particular build, but um, yeah, that's one thing to check for if you're handling the yep. stuff. You know, those those fit nice. Well, I didn't even check yeah. that until now. So, so you get like, you know, these things are pretty, the tolerances are like pretty tight. tight. Yeah. yeah, they're definitely, <laughs> you know, it's like a model kit once you get everything out mm -hmm. in front of you. That's all it is. And then we've got some accessories over here. Of course, you need a mag. Yes, that yes, you can yes. get for. I mean, elsewhere. Gun show, yeah, ten bucks. You can get them pretty cheap, yeah. but now you got to get your ten round mags in Jersey. Yeah, so but, that's uh, gonna be a tough one. Yeah. But yeah. Well, they make the little five round hunting mags. I mean, if you wanna, I mean, you know, but mm -hmm. that, that's like just you can. Yeah, they have you, so many options. Yeah, you can buy modified uh, thirty rounders. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, standard. Capacity thirty round yeah, mags, yeah. you know when they, you know when they just right. so you get the look. they got like a yeah, like you a get it, in yeah it. so you get the look of uh, 
Yep. Not have a little dinky magazine in there. Exactly. Yeah. And so. All right. There's some. Yeah. This is another detail. All right. We've got this rail. Okay. Um, at a gun show. Um, it's China. Now this is Chinese guys, but I looked at it. The quality is okay. And I have. Uh, mounted some of these Chinese rails on um, other guns and I'll tell you for the most part they fit okay um, Sometimes they'll take excuse me a little bit more playing with mm -hmm. um, Than others, but generally they fit okay. Um, this one I think comes with its own yeah, it's, it's Barrel it. nut. Yeah, which is those are other parts of the AR that um, We should probably also mention that's what this barrel nut <sighs> holds Again, our $50 barrel, guys. Yep. So, I don't know, can we slide it? No, I have to go through the other way. Yeah. Like this. But it's, you know, that was over the rail. But basically, this barrel nut fat, uh, holds the uh, barrel into place onto the upper receiver, which would be, you know, the threaded part here. And then you get, like, that kind of a, hold on, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of a but yeah, I mean, what we were just trying to get at with this is you can get these for, for pretty cheap, too. You can get, you know, free float rails yeah. for a pretty decent price. I'm not sure exactly what you pay for this one. You pay like 60. around 60 bucks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, like, you can get this, and then, of course, you just have to get your gas key and uh, and the gas block and stuff like that. And and that's really it for your upper. Gas so, block. Uh, you'd have oh, and the... Um Gas and the gas tube. tube, yeah. Yeah, those types of things. These are things you can pick up, guys. Sometimes they don't always put this stuff on sale, but you'll find good deals like on gas tubes. There's different lengths, too, keep in mind. Mm -hmm. You have carbine length and rifle length. They vary depending on if you're going to build a 16-inch barrel gun or um, a 20-inch barrel gun. They yep. require, um, yeah. you know, the parts are different. Yep. Well, like I said, some of the stuff you got to look into, but that's also the gas block, which, again, I got this for a sweet deal. Yep. Um, also, we mentioned, uh, or should talk about this muzzle brake we got. But this is just a, um, an uncoated um, uh, 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 M6, um, 16 inch barrel. Um, you know, it's basically just a, a NATO, 5.56 NATO, one and eight twist stainless steel. So this barrel was 50 bucks, but guys, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, God bless you if you can shoot a barrel out, uh, you know, with, you know, I would think, you know, most of the time these things are gonna sit in your closet, yeah. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, you know, for 50 bucks, and I shot through them and they're, they're pretty accurate, you know? And uh, we got a, a nice muzzle brake too. I think we got this. I think I got this from Primary Arms as well. Uh, Fifteen bucks for that muzzle brake. So that's gonna look kind of cool on there. Yeah. You know. But I don't nice care too much about the stainless against the black. Yeah. You know, whatever floats your floats your fancy. So there's. The, so I, I mean. Um, oh, so maybe I guess. Um, just kind of briefly give an overview of the tools yeah, I just needed to. Uh, yeah. I just oh, wanted to mention stock the, the stock. There. Yeah. There's oh. like we've pretty much covered the the nest. The you know the. Not that a stock isn't necessary, but you know we have like some of the, the stuff that you can kind of outfit your gun with. Of course, you need a stock, um, and then we don't have them out here, but you're gonna need sights, so yeah. you're gonna need something like that. And like this one, you know, we were talking about, you could probably find these. This is a Magpul. Uh, what is this? An M S L K carbine stock. Yeah. But you know, this is good enough to get the. The job done you can get these for probably like 30 bucks so yeah you know what too these um people should keep in mind that and i have one here i have one here handy <laughs> um that you can buy you know we we're talking too a lot about collecting all the lower parts mm -hmm. um you know which uh you know you can you can collect but also if you want to get an upper now granted this one's a little fancy but the, i'm trying to just make the point um, if you get an A2 um, sight post, um, and then the, uh, I guess they, they put a, uh, maybe a rail, mm -hmm. or I know we've had a friend get a rail, or just the standard plastic, plastic grip up here, yeah. um, and then all you'd have to do at that point, um, and they come like this with the, the upper receiver, um, th sometimes they'll include the bolt, um, it'll have the, um, the muzzle brake on it, the whole nine yards, guys, and you can sometimes get these for, what, about 275 yeah. for yeah, a complete upper mm -hmm. like that. You got a lot, um, Palmetto State Armory is yeah. one to keep an eye on for that kind of stuff. They're yeah. an American company um, and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, definitely, to uh, awesome. if you can yeah. get a hold of one of these, yeah, this is a good way, too, to kind of bargain build it up. But like I said, this one's a little on the fancy side, as you can probably tell, yep. but it's just for the point. Yep. Yeah, and then... So that's pretty much, I mean, everything as far as the build goes. We kind of wanted to just 
you know, if you are going to build one of these things, you should have some tools, you know, to obviously do that. So uh, we kind of wanted yeah. to give you some uh, some of the uh, an overview of some of the tools you guys should have Absolutely, to do yeah. something like that. So, so um, I guess you can. So yeah, show we got this, one. this. I mean, you guys don't need to see this stuff, but this is like this is a punch set. You're gonna need. Well, some, show them uh, anyway, just in case, because not everybody. I mean, um, yeah, you know, these, it's not like normal saw hammer um, drill. Yeah. You know, so. Well, if you, if you know what a punch is, then mechanics. you know what I'm about to yeah, show you. But, but yeah, this this has like different size punches in here. You know, you're gonna need a couple different sizes for the uh, for the build, and so this definitely comes in handy as far as like you know pushing a lot of the pins through because these the way these guns are essentially put together is by a lot of just pins and, and stuff like that. Absolutely, so, and little springs and, and things springs, like that. Yeah. yeah. So so a good quality set of punches is definitely going to take you a long way on building an AR. Yeah, so. there's a real popular one that I, uh, is the 530 seconds, or is it 5? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's know. the 530 seconds, which is used on most of the pins. Mm. Um, but but there's a couple other sizes in there. Just yeah. buy a set, guys, because you, you, you actually eventually use them all. Yeah. Um, yeah. They come in handy for a lot yeah. of other things. but Yeah, they make even all the way down to um, a set with uh, just three in there. Mm. Find it at like Home Depot or whatever. So there's that. Okay. Yep. Then there's all right. You need a hammer. We got this hammer is is, is more specific. It's a eight a eight ounce or eight ounce or a five ounce ball peen. Jeez, I can't remember. I want to say it's an eight ounce ball peen. But this is great for using on your um your your pin um your um your pins and uh you know driving them in. But you can use a regular hammer. We've used it before. This yeah. is just fancy. Yep. Um, and then of course you have your um barrel nut wrench which depending on the build sometimes it, it comes with a proprietary barrel nut yep. so you'll just need to use like a big adjustable wrench on or something but if you're doing a stock build um with the um the, the, the retaining system on a stock one you're going to yep. need this for the barrel nut um even if you want to down the road take it off in the future to put a new barrel on you want to get a good tool but um that's what this is this one's made by two unique this is like totally overkill but the, these things work really good um and also this is for, I guess, the muzzle brake or yeah. you know, indoor flash hider that just goes on the threads on the yep. end of that to secure it to the end of your barrel. Oops. So there's that, but you can just you can buy an all-in-one tool. They're pretty good, you know, if you just do it every now and again. But these are yep. heavy duty. These, and this one I believe is also made by Two Unique, is for the castle nut mm -hmm. to fasten the uh, so the stock goes on buffer a buffer tube. tube. Just one thing we didn't mention is yeah. you do need a buffer tube. And a spring a, and a buffer spring, and stuff like that. Yeah. But again, another thing that you can get for like sometimes like $30 yeah, you for can a good quality American cheap. made, uh, yeah. made one, yeah, made mm -hmm. set. But that's basically the tool. Oh, and actually what also helps too is um, your um, magazine block for mounting the gun to work on it on your, you know, if you have a bench vise mm -hmm. um, and also a clamshell that holds the upper and lower together yeah, when you're fastening definitely. on the barrel. You can get by without these things, but yeah, you know you're, you're 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 kind of not building it. You're building it half-ass at yeah, that point. Yeah. So uh, you know, like I said, and w once you get going with these things, like I said, all your you know, if you get it involved with you know somebody in family or friends, um, you know, it's funner to build them than even yeah, buy them. And then, like I said, you can go yeah. crazy with if you want to put a, a high-end trigger in it, if you want to put a high-end barrel on yeah. it, if you want to go and get an optic. Yep. I mean, the the road is endless. The furniture, the grips, the, the you know, so. You know, yeah. like one, I said, we could talk about that. This is a tough all day, video, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, it is. But one thing I just wanted to mention about the two tools that he showed you, the, the barrel nut wrench and the uh, castle nut wrench, you can buy like just a simple old armorer's wrench. Um, those you could probably find for like 20, 30 yeah, bucks. Yeah, they're connected. But just one, one thing I did want to mention yeah. is like with these, these are of course a lot, you know, more heavy duty and stuff like that. And you know, an armorer's wrench will get you by to put the gun together and stuff like that. But God forbid, you know, something happens with the barrel or something you want to change the barrel out or you want to get a different barrel. With the heat and a lot of the stuff that happens on these guns, you know, that stuff tends to tends to stick on there. So, you know, if they're on, if they're put on, you know, pretty tight, then it's not going to be that easy to get off with just an armorer's wrench. And those things, you know, you don't really have much leverage on those. Of course, you can get more leverage on it, but, you know, they're not built for doing a million of those things. But these tools are. So, yeah, <clears throat> you know, if you invest the money in those, then you'll definitely won't yeah it's a light don't regret it tool yeah. purchase yeah but one one more thing i wanted to mention about just the whole thing in general is like like we were saying it is a lot more fun to build these things than to buy them because i mean if you think about it you're gonna probably buy your ar-15 but then you're like yeah you know what? i'm not really too keen on this grip or i'm not too keen on this stock or i'm not too keen on this you know rail or whatever and you're gonna end up changing parts out anyway so why not just put it together the way you like it to begin with and then it's yours so and you yeah. know you're also getting 
to familiarize yourself with the gun. You know, you know all the little ins and outs of the gun, how to service it. You know, God forbid something were to happen to it, you can change it. You can yeah. do what you got to do with it. So, I think all in all, you're saving money. You're learning something. You're building it the way you want to have it built, and just yeah. for some of your time. So, I think that yeah. building them is way better than buying them. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's also some. Um, what are, what are like um, when you get a, go to a, you know an auto mechanic to get like your you know your tires put on or something? Uh, they have like a, an other spot at the end of the invoice, and that's mm -hmm. usually like miscellaneous stuff like supplies. Yeah. You guys also need like um, like CLP, yeah, um, yeah. Loctite, mm -hmm. um, probably the red one, yeah. um, and uh, like anti seize, yeah. that silver yeah. stuff that comes in the tube for the barrel threads. Yeah. Uh, so there's little details like that. Um, but you know, like I said, so there is a, a tool investment. We just wanted to give a roundabout, like realistic type of thing that it doesn't, you know, you can really do it for a minimal amount of money. I mean, it's not cheap by no means, but yeah. you know, to do all this, and then like I said, now you you learned how to build it, you learn how it operates, and you can, you know, you can do more and you can do it with friends and get right. together. And this exactly. is like something, you know, better to do sometimes than, you know, watching yeah. TV. Because you know, <laughs> the main reason we wanted to make this video is because I've talked to a couple people, like, you know, just in at the range or, you know, just in passing and stuff like that. And people that are getting into firearms and stuff, they always say, oh, I want an AR 15 so bad, but I don't have the money for them. But really, they're really not expensive things. Like, we were even saying something like this, you can buy. Buy one of these parts every time you get a paycheck or something. Buy the lower and then let it sit. You know, it's not going to go anywhere. Then buy the upper and then buy the other parts. And then buy what you want as you go along. And before you know it, you'll have the gun. And, you know, you'll put it together and you'll have the firearm that you wanted for relatively cheap. I mean, we were talking, you could get between the four to $500 range for one of these, like a base one of these guns. And that's everything. That's yeah. including everything. So, I mean, you're not really spending too much money. But, you know, if you do go to look at... You know say a gun store or something like that you might go in there and say holy shit like that cheapest they are right there's yeah. nine hundred dollars you know and, and this yeah. is yeah and this is a gun too that you can hand on down to your kids and stuff these oh, things yeah. are they're built mm -hmm. to last you know if they're taken care of and yeah. stuff like that i mean that stuff does wear but yeah so uh like i said i don't know we could just keep you know yeah we could talk I mean, all night yeah I, I just hope that was a good roundabout view and i hope yeah. everybody's enjoying all this rain <laughs> i know <laughs> that we're having yeah it really it's like a month yeah hopefully there. you guys are not flooded yeah Jesus, but uh, we're yeah. doing all right here. But. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we hope we got you guys are doing good too. And uh, like so, like I said, we finally. So I'm sure we'll get some. I'm sure we'll get some questions on this one. I mean, we've gotten questions on other videos, but I'm sure we'll get some questions yeah. on this one. So we'll try to, you know, f give you feedback as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, we've done enough of them to where we can mo ask most most of the questions about them. You know, unless yeah. you're getting into real fancy, crazy optics, you're doing something like that or whatever. Yeah. You know, I know a little bit about that kind of stuff. You know. Um, red dots and whatnot, but yeah, yeah, like I said, it's just it's. Just, yep, you know, I don't know. Something we could talk about yeah. for decades. <laughs> but thanks, guys, for watching. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. We hope you like this one. Uh, if you want to see some more stuff like this, let us know, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Good night. Good night. Guys. Take care, rabble rousers. Mm -hmm.